Lamentations, Chapter 1 Jerusalem's streets, once bustling with people, are now silent. Like a widow broken with grief, she sits alone in her mourning. Once the queen of nations, she is now a slave. She sobs through the night, tears stream down her cheeks. Among all her lovers, there is no one left to help her. All her friends have betrayed her. They are now her enemies. Judah has been led away into captivity, afflicted and enslaved. She lives among foreign nations and has no place of rest. Her enemies have chased her down, and she has nowhere to turn. The roads to Jerusalem are in mourning, no longer filled with crowds on their way to celebrate the temple festivals. The city gates are silent. Her priests groan. Her young women are crying. How bitterly Jerusalem weeps. Her oppressors have become her masters, and her enemies prosper, for the Lord has punished Jerusalem for her many sins. Her children have been captured and taken away to distant lands. All the beauty and majesty of Jerusalem are gone. Her princes are like starving deer searching for pasture, too weak to run from the pursuing enemy. And now in the midst of her sadness and wandering, Jerusalem remembers her ancient splendor. But then she fell to her enemy, and there was no one to help her. Her enemy struck her down and laughed as she fell. Jerusalem has sinned greatly, so she has been tossed away like a filthy rag. All who once honored her now despise her, for they have seen her stripped naked and humiliated. All she can do is groan and hide her face. She defiled herself with immorality with no thought of the punishment that would follow. Now she lies in the gutter with no one to lift her out. Lord, see my deep misery, she cries. The enemy has triumphed. The enemy has plundered her completely, taking everything precious that she owns. She has seen foreigners violate her sacred temple, the place the Lord had forbidden them to enter. Her people groan as they search for bread. They have sold their treasures for food to stay alive. O oh Lord, look, she mourns, and see how I am despised. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look around and see if there is any suffering like mine, which the Lord brought on me in the day of his fierce anger. He has sent fire from heaven that burns in my bones. He has placed a trap in my path and turned me back. He has made me desolate, racked with sickness all day long. He wove my sins into ropes to hitch me to a yoke of captivity. The Lord sapped my strength and gave me to my enemies. I am helpless in their hands. The Lord has treated my mighty men with contempt. At his command, a great army has come to crush my young warriors. The Lord has trampled his beloved city as grapes are trampled in a wine press. For all these things, I weep. Tears flow down my cheeks. No one is here to comfort me. Any who might encourage me are far away. My children have no future, for the enemy has conquered us. Jerusalem pleads for help, but no one comforts her. Regarding his people, the Lord has said, Let their neighbors be their enemies. Let them be thrown away like a filthy rag. And the Lord is right, she groans, for I rebelled against him. Listen, people everywhere, look upon my anguish and despair, for my sons and daughters have been taken captive to distant lands. I begged my allies for help, but they betrayed me. My priests and leaders starved to death in the city, even as they searched for food to save their lives. Lord, see my anguish. My heart is broken and my soul despairs, for I have rebelled against you. In the streets the sword kills, and at home there is only death. Others heard my groans, but no one turned to comfort me. When my enemies heard of my troubles, they were happy to see what you had done. Oh, bring the day you promised when you will destroy them as you have destroyed me. Look at all their evil deeds, Lord. Punish them as you have punished me for all my sins. My groans are many, and my heart is faint.